Greetings from space. Welcome to the International Space Station. I am UAS astronaut Sultan Anyadi. And I am NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg. Okay, Woody, um, it's already been five months. Can you believe it? It's amazing. It's uh, The five months have just flown by. I honestly, it feels like just so recently that we arrived, that you did your first EVA. Uh, it's incredible. It's gone so fast. Yeah, honestly, it's hard to believe, uh, but uh, I remember seeing you the first time. I think it was uh, Crew One arrival at Ellington, and I was uh, discussing uh, my background after the first mission of my colleague Hazal Mansouri, talking about uh, the Soyuz background, and you were talking about uh, uh, Dragon, uh, like training, and it was amazing just sharing ideas. And from the first moment, I thought, Woody, you are an exceptional astronaut, and a uh, few months after that, we were assigned together, right? Yeah, it's hard to overstate how excited we were uh, to have you, Sultan, uh, become part of Crew 6. Uh, it's just been amazing. And uh, like you said, you know, it was amazing watching Haza uh, fly his mission a few years ago. He spent about a week. Um, and now you're making history. Uh, six months up here, the first long duration uh, ex expedition by an Arab astronaut. It's amazing. Um, we're so lucky to have you. Yeah, thank you so much, Woody. You, you, you said that, yeah, I remember the first uh, mission of the UA when Hazar flew to the International Space Station in 2019. He was uh, going on the Russian Soyuz. That was his backup. And then uh, in 2020, actually, in September, we wanted to continue training. So we arrived in NASA, in, uh, in JSC, in Houston. And it was amazing. The world was recovering from uh, from COVID, but we started uh, training Haza and I, and uh, it was really, really interesting. Just going from uh, basic um, ISS training to MBL training, which is really sophisticated, like spending six hours uh, in the MBL underwater and then going and fly uh, T-38. Everything was amazing uh, right until the end when we uh, finished the uh, pre-assignment uh, flow. And then it was uh, about time to be assigned to uh, to a mission, and that is when uh, we got together as a crew uh, in Crew Six. Yeah, and uh, it, it was great. You know, Steve Bowen and I had the opportunity to do a bit of uh, training with SpaceX right in the early days of our assignment to Crew Six. And then I just really feel like when you got assigned and became part of the crew, we really became a, a real crew. We spent so much time out at SpaceX uh, training together and also in Houston. Uh, we kind of joked in the Dragon vehicle that Sultan does everything because, uh, <laughs> you know, the rest of us, it just the way things play out on some of the emergency scenarios that we practice, uh, we're all kind of in our seats, uh, maybe dealing with displays and whatnot. And Sultan's the one getting up, fighting fires, arranging equipment, doing all the work. So, uh, but we had so much fun out in Hawthorne together. Yeah, absolutely, but that, that is not totally true. Uh, Woody is the pilot and, and Steve is the, is the commander. I do physical stuff, but you guys are running the show. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's, it's amazing. It's a, it was a, a wonderful uh, training uh, journey going from uh, one place to another, like going from Houston to train in LA and uh, SpaceX Hawthorne and then traveling to Japan and going to Europe. It was amazing, and I think uh, 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 Andre was a great addition uh, coming from Roscosmos. It was really, really nice uh, crew, and it was really amazing time uh, training together. I, w I wanted to uh, teach Rudy some Arabic words. Maybe uh, he'll come to the UA and uh, maybe survive saying some uh, Arabic words, but I, I failed miserably. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not fail. I, I, uh, I really want to come visit. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I still know Mumtaz, <laughs> so, you know, your lessons left some impression, yes? <laughs> yeah, uh, Woody, I really appreciate the um, international, um, let's say, uh, uh, cooperation and collaboration together, and I think uh, what's happening between the UAE and uh, the U.S., specifically uh, MBRC and NASA, is, is a great example of that. Uh, the UAE has uh, been a, uh, like an active um, like country in terms of the space exploration. We have um, a probe orbiting Mars, and we have uh, satellites. We have 
a very active uh, um, astronaut program. We have two uh, missions uh, so far, and we have uh, uh, a new astronaut that will finish soon from their ASCAN training. So I really appreciate the collaboration with the, between the two nations, and I think this is only the beginning. We have uh, a lot of things that we can do together in the future. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. I mean, I think your mission is such an important step. It's been just amazing. Like like you said, we spent so much time in training together, but getting to be up here together for a long duration to really become friends, watching you do your spacewalk, you know, making history there. I think that's one example of where your nation is really becoming uh, a big part of the space program and part of the ISS. And looking forward, I'm so excited that uh, the UAE has signed the Artemis Accords. That's going to be amazing, peaceful exploration of the moon, and as we look forward to the Artemis missions and uh, exploring the moon and setting up bases there, uh, it's a really exciting time and we're so glad to have you be a part of it. Well, thank you so much, Woody, and uh, I think in the end, it is my dream to go to the moon. Hopefully, we'll go together. That would be a dream come true, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everyone, and uh, see you soon next time. Bye. Take care.